In this lesson, we are going to draw with object snap overrides. While running object snaps are always on, an object snap override is only good for one click. Object snap overrides can be accessed by holding the shift key at the keyboard, then right clicking your mouse. This will open up a menu of object snaps. So let's take a look at what running object snaps I currently have turned on. I have endpoint, midpoint, center, and intersection. So as I'm drawing along the screen, I will see all of those object snaps in some capacity. I may want to use one specific object snap for a couple of different reasons. One, maybe I'm having a hard time getting the exact point. Or two, maybe it's an object snap that I don't use very often, so it's not really worth turning on the running mode. So let's take a look at an example. I'm going to adjust my running object snap settings and only choose endpoint, midpoint, and perpendicular. And what I would like to do is draw a line from this pipe perpendicular to this pipe fitting here. So I begin my line at the top corner here, and as I draw towards the other pipe, I can see the perpendicular, but the endpoint and the midpoint are all right in the same location, and it's very easy for me to pick the wrong one. So to ensure that I get the perpendicular, I'm going to hold the shift key and right click my mouse and select perpendicular. So for one click, perpendicular is the only object snap that's on. Notice there's no endpoints, midpoints, anything else. I'm just simply getting perpendiculars. So now I can select the line I want to be perpendicular to and the line is constructed. So I'll do that once more. I'll start the line shift right click perpendicular then click on the line i wish to be perpendicular to then escape another reason you might want to use an object snap override is for some functionality that doesn't exist in the running mode for example i wish to create a circle at the intersection of this line and this line they don't actually intersect so even though in my running object snap i turn intersection on when I come in with my circle command, there is no intersection point out here. So instead I will use an override. I will shift right click then choose intersection. Now I will see the intersection symbol with the three dots, the ellipses, because it's indicating that it doesn't quite know where the intersection is until I've picked two lines. So I'll begin by picking the top vertical line here. And as I hover over other lines, you can see that it's going to calculate where the intersections would be. So I can simply select the next line here, then specify a value. So I'll do that one more time. Once more, I start the command, shift right click intersection, then select the two lines I wish to find the intersection of. So once more to recap, running object snaps are always on, and I will simply set the ones that I use the most in this list. But if I have other object snaps that I use occasionally, or if I have a special situation as I did here, the overrides is the best method. And once again, that's done by beginning the command, shift then right click and selecting the appropriate object snap. That concludes this look at object snap overrides in AutoCAD.